How's it going guys and welcome to the Minute channel. Today we're going to be addressing a concern and something that a lot of people have asked about, especially people that are new uh, to this area of Persona, particularly Persona 3, and uh, that's answering the question, should you play as a male or female protagonist? So that's something that uh, obviously may not matter much in a lot of games. There's a lot of games out there that when you play as a male or female protagonist, you pretty much get the same experience across the board. You always get like the, the same uh, situation, right? Uh, but that is not actually the case for Persona 3 Portable because both characters um, are actually essentially different characters, meaning that you are going to get a different experience based on who you play as, whether it's a male protagonist, Makoto Yuki, or the uh, female protagonist. Both of them have uh, different storylines per se. The, the core mechanic of the game is still the same. The, the core storyline is still the same but but essentially both of these characters work very differently they do have very different personalities they approach things very different and they actually have a lot of different differences so we're gonna go ahead over these differences how they work and whether you should play one or the other so right off the bat um both of these protagonists are actually both canon confirmed by uh, other games that atlas has done so whether you play one or the other you still get the experience of you know playing one or the other uh, the major difference here is this um, because you are playing as a female protagonist all the dating simulator aspects of the game actually flip to a female dating males that means that all the males that you possibly meet in the game the people that you're kind of um, you know people around your age and that kind of stuff you're actually able to date these characters similarly to how it happens with the male protagonist with the female characters in the game so that works in a very different way because now you're having a dating sim that is a Appealing more to female players or maybe some people that just want to get a new experience from that so that is one of the major core aspects of the game you are not able to date female characters as a female protagonist you can only date the male ones uh, on the other hand a male protagonist uh, can only date the female characters in the game so if you're looking to have a dating experience that uh, you definitely want to pick which one of the two you're looking to do um, some people don't really care but some people actually do care about that kind of stuff uh, that being said because it is a female protagonist as well they added new characters with new storylines particularly only specifically for the female protagonist for example there is a, a small cameo of uh, Yukiko from Persona 4 that appears in the game as well so there's a lot of different changes like that there's a lot of different conversations like that there's a lot of different characters that you meet so any of this stuff do kind of affect the way that you interact with the character in the social aspect of the game um, because again they did flip the roles around so a lot of these things are flipped around to fit that perspective to give you something different um, there is a lot of aspect of the game that actually changed as well and that is the gameplay actually you as the male protagonist and the female protagonist actually use different weapons so you're actually gonna see that as a thing um, the main persona that you obtain at the beginning of the game actually is only a, a gender reverse of that so it's a fem female instead of a male but that doesn't actually change the gameplay itself only the weapon that you get and consequently costumes and that kind of stuff that you obtain as well as when you're playing the game obviously that changes to a female version of that uh, but overall gameplay wise it doesn't actually change much in that aspect it's still pretty much the same other than the weapon being essentially a different weapon um, another thing that does change in the game itself is there are actually changes in the storyline to feel the female protagonist version of the game uh, for example there are certain situations in the game that completely change because of you're able to date a male protagonist or because of something changes in the game so very important to note of that a lot of people have even argued that playing the male protagonist may be the uh, official route so to speak because that way you get that original experience and then you can do a female route but personally after playing both of them multiple times i feel like either way you're still gonna get the core experience of a persona game uh, there are just minor differences and stuff and there are some major differences that can change depending on some choices but that is the same thing for a male protagonist too there are some core changes that do affect the storyline and everything but the female protagonist does add some nuances that make it way different depending on some of the things that you do at the end of the day it's still a very good experience or rather whether you play as a female or a male uh, again i actually encourage people to play both of the routes because you get a complete version of persona 3 portable where you actually 
watch the experience to see not only you know dating the female characters but also the male characters you get to see different personalities from them that you wouldn't see as a male protagonist uh, because not only are they now friends but they're also like a romantic interest so there's a lot of things that do add to more of the experience but at the end of the day I'll say there is not much of a change as far as like whether you should do one or the other again there are a lot of people in the fandom that do argue that you should play as the female as the male protagonist first versus the female protagonist but i know several people of my friends that have played the game starting with the female protagonist and there was no issue with them on that like or anything like that you're not gonna have any trouble understanding the story and again it is more catered towards whatever your taste is whether you like to play as a female or a male character at the end of the day the is core storyline is still there and it won't really affect much of that it's more of the social aspect the dating aspect that really is where there's a change in that anyway thanks so much for watching this video hopefully th that you make an educated decision as what you how do you want to play and let me know in the comments down below do you prefer play as the male or the female character anyway thanks so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye bye But before we end this video, I want to thank all the members, Miko, Another Fox, Demicro, H2DK, King Narukami45, Ita McNeil, and Rising Oil Blend. Thank you so much guys for your support, I couldn't make these videos without your help.